90 year birthday or dinner for one. It's Miss Sophie's 90th birthday and this is of course a cause for celebration. The only problem is the guests are all dead. Leaving her trusty butler, James, to do all the drinking for all four of her usual guests. And as expected, he gets quite schnockered. This... I realize that not everyone around the world actually knows of this. I know it's actually been banned in some countries because of the massive intoxication of one of the leads. Obviously fictional intoxication. This airs every year at, at New Year's Eve here in Denmark, right before the new year begins. And this is one of the few traditions in my family that I actually care for. Watching it every year with whatever family I'm with for, you know, New Year's Eve. It is a bit of a timeless masterpiece of physical comedy. As James gets more and more drunk, he messes up the butlering more and more. You know, it's his job to bring in the food and pour drinks for everyone, and it gets to be more and more impacted by his condition. And the timing and just, you know, the, the setups, the, the gags are just great. There is a running gag with this skin of a tiger, I believe it is, on the floor, which James has to avoid the head of. And this leads to a lot of different, you know, there are a lot of different ways. He tries to avoid it or forgets to avoid it. I'm not going to give any of them away, but, you know, it's that kind of thing that makes you laugh at it year after year. Because they keep doing a similar thing, but a bit of a different take on it, so to speak. The acting of both James and Miss Sophie is great, and, you know, in spite of it being just these two people, they carry it really well. And in fact, almost the entire thing is carried entirely on the performance of James. Him, you know, having to drink all this and slightly impersonate the deceased guests, and his, you know, physical interaction with the environment and, again, how that is affected by his increasingly drunken state. And for anyone who hasn't watched it, I'm not going to give away the ending, but I will say it is fantastic. And it's, you know, in spite of the nature of the joke, it's actually subtle enough that I would say basically a child could watch this. But, you know, then again, it depends on how you feel about children seeing you know, jokes about alcohol, you know, if you think it'll affect them, but definitely one to watch, definitely a great way to ring in the new year, or I suppose it could be used for other celebrations as well, or you could just watch it, not even for a specific celebration. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.